Governor, as we watch this, we see some legal, we see some politics. What do you make of it all? It's mostly theater. Let's face it, this oh. is not a serious discussion of the issue. This is all pontificating, uh, trying to get their points out. The best thing they could do is turn the cameras off, for that matter, turn the lights off, put only the members of Congress in the room and say, you guys talk about this. But get the cameras out of there and the microphones out of there, because the reason this goes on like this, and it produces nothing but... Uh, extraordinary partisan rancor mm -hmm. is because nobody in that room is serious about resolving an issue. They're serious about trying to present their side, make their side look good, their, the other side look bad, and it's a waste of our time and money. You know, it's interesting, Capri, as we were just looking seconds ago, and this shot may toggle back be between the entire group and then singular people like Eric Swalwell, who we were right. just looking at, who's running, running for, for president, president for the, the who Democrats. Isn't running there for he is. <laughs> That's right. Me. I'm not running for president. <laughs> well, not yet. Me neither. <laughs> so when you look at this, though, and you see sort of the elevation of drama and the whole right. room, you, you hear what the governor is saying, and you can't miss it when you've got a 2020 presidential candidate in the center. Right. And we've seen it so much in the Senate Judiciary Committee as well, and all of their their hearings because there's so many members of the United States Senate running for, for president as well. I'm very frustrated by this process. Yes, and we've heard from a number of the, of the members of the committee on the Democratic side that the Mueller report essentially leaves the issue of obstruction in the hands of Congress. That's fine. Congress has a constitutional oversight duty uh, in co-equal branches of government. Yes, that's accurate. But guess what? You can do your job without having a show like this by the swamp for the swamp. And this bringing to your point, Governor, if we really want to get to the bottom of some of these issues or have a conversation with Robert Mueller, which I know now President Trump is saying he doesn't want him to go and testify, but do it behind closed doors because right now all the back and forth on both sides is further eroding what is already a pretty precarious uh, belief in our, in our institutions.